This video will show you how to import an existing GEDCOM file into the TREE workbook. Most websites and software give you the option to export your data as a GEDCOM file. The TREE workbook allows you to import this GEDCOM data to expedite adding people to your TREE. There are some limitations to importing a GEDCOM file into the TREE workbook. First, make sure you do not have the GEDCOM file open elsewhere. Second, make sure there are at least two people in the GEDCOM file. Your GEDCOM should also not contain more than five or 6,000 people as the file performance begins to drag around that mark. For large trees, you should filter the GEDCOM file in your other software to a specific branch of the tree that you want to work on. Only names, birth, death, and marriage details will be imported with the GEDCOM file. Media, photos, and sources will not be added at this time. All individuals should be imported, but a person is limited to one set of parents, seven spouses, and 32 children. So anyone exceeding those limitations may not be connected to someone else after the import. Before importing, it is recommended to switch the encoding of the GEDCOM file to ANSI. For reasons unbeknown to me, this encoding allows diacritical marks like accents and tildes to show up properly in Excel. How you switch the encoding depends on the text editor software used to edit the GEDCOM. This example will show you how to do it using Notepad, which is common and free on most computers. If you right click on the GEDCOM file, you can choose Open With, then select Notepad. Once open, click on File on the top left hand corner, then choose Save As. In the Save window, change the encoding at the bottom of the screen to ANSI. You can then add a notation to the file name so you know the difference. Then press save and now you can close the file on Notepad. Now that the GEDCOM is ready, you can open the tree workbook. Be sure to enable macros if you have not done so already. And on the tree worksheet, double click on import. Then click on import GEDCOM. Read the prompt, then click Yes. Navigate to and select the ANSI encoded GEDCOM file you want to import. This process can take a few seconds to a few minutes depending on the size of the GEDCOM. Once completed, you will be prompted of how many people were imported. The tree members will automatically be assigned their unique ID numbers based on the order they were listed in the GEDCOM file. After importing, your tree will initially be sorted by ID number. You can double click on sort DOB to sort your family members by date of birth. If you have a lot of American ancestors, then a completely optional tool to use after importing is the USA mass change option. This will abbreviate all US states. This will help make places more uniform and allow chart displays for places to be more legible. To use this option, double click on changes, then click on the USA flag Read the prompt, then hit yes. Unfortunately, not all GEDCOMs are created equal. So if your information does not come in properly, or if the cursor is stuck spinning after five minutes, then you should close the file without saving, reopen it, and try again. If any of the problems persist, then please send me your GEDCOM file and I'll see if I can fix it on my end. 